I, I, as I've listened to the response, I'm kind of wrestling with um, why we're not making much progress, a at least as far as I, I can see. And I don't mean, um, I don't really understand much more than when I started this hearing. Uh, I know that 50% of the electric generation is coal and 20% is nuclear, and I know it's huge, and I know that we have to be concerned about global warming, and I know we need energy, and I know we got to be careful that we don't uh, foolishly shut down plants and, and cause uh, a crisis in energy. I know all of those things, but what I find eerie is that I would get a letter that basically uh, from the chairman of the NRC that basically doesn't feel that there is um, any uh, significance to an, a terrorist attack other than any other kind of crisis at a, a nuclear uh, generating plant. And I am concerned with the concept in his letter that, that the Witt report had undue weight to the impact of potential acts of terrorism. And then I'm trying to reconcile, Mr. Miller, your comment when Mr. Tierney asked, he said, I would assume that during an accident release, everyone at the facility would be working together to stop a potential release in a terrorist incident. However, wouldn't you assume a faster radiological release since the operators may be trying to apply compensatory measures under gunfire and explosions? And you said yes. So in that sense, you see it, and yet you don't relate it to the bigger picture. And um, I just find this kind of like uh, there's no connection. I would, I would be much more comfortable if you just said, you know, obviously there are going to be differences, and, and we're working on it. That would make me feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel good that uh, we have never, ever found a need to look at an evacuation plan and say maybe the plant needs to be shut down. Uh, and Mr. Conklin, I want to ask you, uh, does FEMA agree with the NRC that the WIT report gives undue weight to potential terrorist attacks? Do you believe the WIT report gives undue weight to the potential terrorist attacks? We believe that all potential accident scenarios need to be considered and looked at when developing emergency response plans around these facilities or other facilities, whether they're chemical, nuclear, or, or anything else we could in which the release of hazardous materials or radioactive materials can cause an offsite impact. You, you answered a question we, I didn't ask, but now answer the question I asked. I believe to ignore it is to ignore the elephant in the room. That's, it's a big issue there, and we need, to, we need to address it and take a look at it from the standpoint of the guidance that we currently have in place and how we conduct our exercises. Coughlin, I don't you, believe it you, gives undue weight. No, I don't. Mr. Chairman, may I try? No, 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 no not yet, not yet, not yet. The, the, uh, you got it to the end, and the question is, you do not believe what? I do not believe it gives undue weight. I believe it needs to be, it's an issue that needs to be looked at, it needs to be looked at seriously, and I believe with the new formation of the Department of Homeland Security and FEMA's incorporation into the Emergency Preparedness and Response Directorate positions us well to take advantage of a lot of activities across the government that can help us look at this issue in a much broader, more detailed view.